a peace everyone this is a radical broadcaster live and direct from the planet of brooklyn uh title of today's video was count dante a fraud all right uh, many of you have seen uh, some of uh, my articles that i've written on count dante uh, unfortunately i've had the pleasure of writing uh, about two articles on count dante and uh, during that time i got acquainted with uh, aspects of Count Dante's life uh, through Floyd, Floyd Webb and by speaking with people who knew Count Dante. Um, so people automatically assume that Count Dante is a fraud because they saw these comic book ads and they didn't realize that he was an accomplished martial artist before that. Um, you know, he was a part of the USK, a legitimate karate organization founded by Robert Trias. He engaged in competition. He lost to, uh, one of his notable losses was to Gary Alexander, uh, who was regarded as a martial arts pioneer. But um, he was also a fighter, a street fighter as well. Um, very complex individual, uh, but he was not a fraud. Uh, he was put out of the uh, USKA for doing, for, for making up extreme stories about his background, saying, you know, was, you know, had a noble lineage and stuff, hence the name Count Dante, but he was a fighter. Um, Robert Cooley mentioned this in his book, um, uh, When Corruption Was King, he mentioned that Count Dante was extremely violent. Um, but in terms of him being, people think he's a fraud because uh, he sold these comic books, he sold uh, these uh, world's quote-unquote deadliest fighting secrets in this, um, in, in, you know, through comic books. And People associated that with uh, him somehow or another being a fraud. Not at all. He was just, uh, he was into extreme promotion. And I don't know where, I think Floyd is going to discuss that in his upcoming documentary. But he was just into uh, self promotion. And that is what people, they get confused thinking that he is a fraud. Now, his, his organ, this Black Dragon Fighting Society, it may have lost credibility over the years because people like uh, Sheeta Kim or Frank Dukes have had their name associated with it. Um, but that doesn't detract from what Count Dante did, you know, as John Kean. He was a notable and legitimate martial artist at one time. All right. Um, and uh, hopefully, you know, first is going to finish the documentary. It's really going to, it's going to force America, whether they want to or not, uh, everyone in the martial art group who, who thinks they know anything about martial arts, they're going to have to, uh, they're, they're going to be re-educated um, in terms of martial arts history because Floyd is really helping people understand uh, American martial arts history, not only in Chicago, but just, you know, as a, as a, in the country as a whole, all right? So you're going to, you know, and, and in many aspects, uh, even the Black Belt Magazine even wrote about this, you know, Dante is really the American father of mixed martial arts, hands down. All right, so Dante was not a fraud. He was just a, a guy who he was very young, who had a lot of power, and uh, he created this, you know, this persona. John Keenan created this persona, and, uh, you know, he, he started going in another direction. All right, so uh, I'll follow up soon. All right, peace.